Hello, my name is Mark Chinesk and I'm an application engineer with Scylla Design Solutions. In this video, I'm going to talk about an interesting issue a customer of mine came to me with. Uh, they're trying to get accurate measurements of their pipes from inside wall to inside wall in a civil 3D pipe network. And he's coming into some issues, so I'm going to explain what's going on. And here's a uh, show a different way you can create an expression to get the values you're looking for. So in this drawing, I have a uh, a few pipe network parts. I have two uh, civil 3D pipe network structures. They represent six foot diameter manholes with an eight inch wall, and I have a 24 inch RCP pipe running between them. And I have a couple label styles here showing the lead lengths that are going on. I have 26 feet of 24 inch center to center. Now Civil 3D always calculates center to center when you're running your pipe networks. But they do offer a label style that will go to the inside edge. And you can see I have, now these are 6 foot diameter, so minus 3, minus 3, uh, 6 feet, 20 feet of 24 inch to the inside edge. The issue becomes, and I have a little diagram down here to illustrate this, the issue becomes uh, when you're doing that measurement, when Civil 3D is calculating the inside edge to inside edge, it's only taking into account the center line of the pipe. And if I were to need the exact length of the pipe pushed through to its full penetration with the outside edges, you can see a 24 inch pipe extends beyond that center line pipe wall. And I have some regular dimensions in here. This is drawn to scale. These two circles uh, represent the six foot diameter manholes with the eight inch walls. And uh, this represents the 24 inch pipe with a three inch pipe wall. Um, so I'm showing here the same as my civil 3D model. I'm showing the 26 feet between center to center manhole, 20 feet between the inside edge center line and the inside edge center line. But in order to calculate the actual penetrative wall uh, of the full pipe here, I need to add and, and add the value to the outside edge of the pipe where it penetrates the wall. And in this particular case, it comes out to be uh, a little over three inches, 0.2728 feet. Um, and taking into account, double that, my actual pipe length inside wall to inside wall uh, to the outside edge penetration is 20.55 feet. Now, if I need to report that on my civil 3D drawings, uh, how would I do that? Well, uh, the good news is we can use civil 3D label style expressions to build an expression to add that extra pipe length uh, to the inside uh, 2D inside uh, to inside uh, dimension. Uh, the bad news is this number is not scalable. Uh, directly uh, because every pipe size especially in concrete pipe has a, a variable wall thickness uh, you know if I if I went half size and 12 inch pipe you know I can't guarantee that's going to be uh, an inch and a half wall size so that difference might be a little more or might be a little less by the time it penetrates this wall um, so if I'm going to go this route that I'm going to show here I'm going to have to build an expression for each pipe size in my drawing plus uh, if I have more than one manhole, if I have four foot diameter manholes or five foot, I'll have to build an expression for each of those. So there'll be a combination, maybe a matrix of expressions I'm going to use, and I'll have to have multiple pipe label styles to take these into account. So that's the downside. The, the, the good news is, is once I label these pipes, if I do make future shifts in lengths or move manholes, uh, they are still dynamic and they will update and uh, we should be good to go still as opposed to uh, the older alternative is just to break or manually edit the length in the actual label but then that ceases to be dynamic and if you make change into your drawing from that point forward you can't be guaranteed that you're going to get the right result so I'm going to come here to my tool space and my settings let's go ahead and set up an expression so I'm in my pipe label styles plan and profile um, I, I've made a couple of existing styles here. There's that length center to center, length edge to edge. That's what you're seeing here. I'm going to come down to the expressions tab. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new. Okay. And what I'm going to do, here's the expression builder. I'm going to call this, I'm going to give it a logical name so that when I see it, I know what it is. And what I'll call this will be inside edge and I'll call this 24 dash six. So I know it's for a 24 inch pipe six foot manhole or something something that makes sense to you write it down here in the description 
a 24 inch RCP with a six foot diameter manhole so that when you see it later you'll be able to come back through and say oh yeah that's what that is right so I'm going to build my expression here so I'm going to start with this inside the inside edge 2d length okay so I'm in my expression builder here I'm going to come over here to this dialog right here this will pull all the properties of a pipe that I can pull from my civil 3d pipe networks I'm going to find 2d length to inside edges and add it to the list then I'm going to add that additional length for this pipe I'm going to say plus two times there's my times here well, I'll just type it in use an asterisk for times uh, 0 0.2728 okay so this will be 2, 2d length inside to inside edge plus two times this additional length to get that full penetration and it will be forward the format as a double Okay, this double makes it make sure that it's going to be a number with decimal places. And I'll hit OK. And that adds my expression. And then I'm going to take and go back and I'm going to copy this length inside edge to edge center line. I'm going to right click and I'll say copy. And it'll open up a copy of that label style in the composer. And I'll change it to length inside edge space. 24-6 so again it matches my expression and I know what to bring in then I'll come here to the layout I'll be in the my pipe text wherever my my label whatever I'm using to compose my label find the contents I'll go ahead and edit that and then here you see I have 2d length from inside edges and I'm going to change that to that new expression there's inside edge 24 6 that will take that mathematical expression and replace it there I'll make sure my precision matches what I have already two decimal places make sure you press the right arrow to push it over into your label composer hit OK and hit OK and that will give me a new style okay there's length inside edge 24 6 let me go ahead and add a label here now I'll come to my annotate I'll add my label um, this will be pipe network. I'm going to do single part plan and I'm going to choose my new style, length inside edge 246. I'll say add, hit that pipe, and there you see it's gone ahead and it has made the proper um, function here. And the benefit of this again is now if I was to edit my, my manhole and stretch it out, all the labels will update and this is the true 25, 25 or 45 26 inside to inside including that wall penetration beyond the center line by that I hope that helps and I hope this will give you some insight in how you can modify some of the labels for pipe networks uh, to give you the results in your labeling that you desire if you have any questions you may email me at mshinesk at siler-ds.com don't forget to follow us on our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.